Hey Junk Monkey friends, it's Sonia and Matt back on for a night at another night of the Paint a Piece of Furniture Day Challenge using our brand new line of the Junk Monkey Milkshake Milk Paint. And I've got this little tag in my finger because I scored this piece right here at my local Goodwill for $4. Can you see that? $4.99, okay? So I know I can beef up this piece and somebody will come along and go, heck yeah, I want that for my bathroom, right? Right now it's looking literally brown and frowny because somebody's put some brown paint on it. They did not paint for whatever reason in here. So let's think about doing that. I'm going to leave the hinges on it. They're brass right now, but for what I have in mind, I think it's going to blend together really, really nice. So for those of you who are on here, do say hello. As you guys know, I'm Sonia. This is Matt behind the camera. And for anybody new who's just joining our page, we are Jug Monkey Paint Company. We ship a line of specialty paints, chalky style paints, and our brand new all-natural milk paint line all across this beautiful country. And of course, that milk paint, paint line now goes into Canada, which is pretty darn cool, right? We love to give new life to old things. So without further ado, let's get started, all right? Let's get started. Tell us who's here, babe. Yeah, well, let me go back here. Well, Karen Pagas is here, our friend Karen. Karen! And Sonia Vargo is here. Is that Sonia with a Y? It is Sonia with a Y. Lisa Joyle from Montreal. Oh. Uh, Doug and June Shade, Brittany Nicole Arnold. Uh, Mary Foley, Christine Farlow, A.D. Negret, April Dixon, Patty Frank, Lisa Brendick, uh, Angel Klaus, Klaus, Klaus is That's here. in the house. Debbie uh, Damascus, Melody Clanton, uh, Kotskiff is watching, your parents are oh, watching. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chantal Shaw, Debbie Kilgore, Jamie Algeter, uh, <laughs> Terry Martinez, uh, Melvin and Kathy Hansel. Margie's here, Kathy Snyder, Pam Nettle. So, anyways, you know, Mar Margie got a new, uh, a new little paint helper in the family. Uh oh, she did. Yep, really? yep, she did. Well, congratulations. Yes, pretty cool. Somebody to help her paint, right? She's yep. in my coaching club. Yep. Uh, Carla jumped in. Crystal jumped in. Uh, Bessie Brooks checked in from North Carolina. Francis Miller. <clears throat> Carol Burns checking in from TARS. Hello, and ladies. Frankie's checking in. Uh, Vicky. Hey, Vicky, what's going on? I haven't seen you for a Is while. Is that Vicky from down the road? That's Vicky from hey, down girl, the road. Hey, girl, hope you're doing well. Robin Subert, Terry Wolf, Stacy Michelle Wortham's checking in. Oh, that's a green turtle. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm actually doing a custom color tonight. So I am using our color. What color did I end up using? I think it was called, um, let me think. What Kate color did they pull out, Kate? Because looking at all of our greens. I think I used the Irish eyes tonight. Yeah, you pulled out Irish eyes. yeah, Irish eyes and a little bit of white. I'm going with a vintage flair tonight on this piece, okay? So all I've done right now is add, I think, right around four tablespoons of the green, um, two-ish of the, two to three of the white just to kind of see the consistency that I'm getting, right? I'm gonna add a little bit more white because I am gonna lighten it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go back and grab some more of the white that we have. Okay. So what's everybody else up Thanks to today? Hey guys, hope to see you soon. Cool. Where Very are you nice. hiding, Vicky? <laughs> hey y'all, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Virginia says, glad to be watching on Facebook. Yay! Sharon says, Princeton, Kentucky. Francis Miller says, you guys had the best paint ever. Well, thank you, Francis. Oh, that makes us happy. Angela says, hello from Florida. Sharon says, thank God, TGOF, thank God it's Facebook. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And the little Jeray. That's Deborah says, funny. Thanks. Matt bought that one for me. What are you doing? Uh, Michelle's checking from Edinburgh. Uh, watching with her daughter, Aaliyah. Debbie March loves this color. Sharon Seagler loves pretty? the color. Sharon Lindsay. Yeah, it's pretty. Right. We're going to blend it up. We're going to blend it up. All right. Let me I'm, go back over here. Sure. I'm going to add a little bit of the um, Bond in as well. Okay. Right. Should we watch for the James Bond to go in? Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. All right. All right. So here's the deal. Something. Inside joke, right? Last night, anybody who made it on YouTube, we were joking because I said, get the Bond, the James Bond. This is the stuff you add to your milk paint concaction ladies right here to be able to make it more bondable okay so i'm working on a surface right now that is uh basically 75 percent painted but there's a percentage of it that is not painted it's like a pressed wood so i'm going to add a little bit of the bond just because even though i'm going to do some distressing i do want it to make sure it's holding on right so i'm really not like i said ocd about this i pretty much go gluck 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 all right and then we're good to go gluck 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 gluck, gluck. yep I, I just, I'm just, you know, this is how I cook, okay? He will tell you that as well. I'm a very impatient cook. Like, when I do casseroles and stuff like that, let's just, like, 
you know, he is the, like, let's get ahead of broccoli. He's all in ratio in, in um, you know, if there's three three little pieces left, I'm just going to throw it all I'm in, okay? Yeah, I know. Well, there might be a little bit of a difference, all right? But, yeah, yeah. Zing. Oh, Where's the yeah. zing bot? Yeah, all right, there we go. So, remember, once this... Um, sits for a little bit it continues to thicken up right because what happens is the all the color pigments go through all the water that you just put mm. in to activate it all right but we're going to go ahead and get started painting with it and it'll thicken up as we go i could even add a little bit more should i add a little bit more white let me think here i might add yeah. a little bit more white okay just because mm. i'm going to lighten up just one more little bit okay yes you can mix chalk paint colors. yeah you can blend absolutely that's the fun thing, right? We make our paints to be blendable. All right. And much like when you, if you ever get any of our chalky style paint that's pre-made, this is the stuff, stuff that you're making yourself, right? Mm. So right now, like even though you see me what I'm doing here, I'm using a whisk and I'm blending it up, right? So just know that even if you use our chalky style paints, that because they're handmade paints, you know, just like this, but they're pre-made, when you get them in a can, if they ever feel like they're separated, just know that you just gotta whisk them back together, okay? So you just gotta use a little bit of elbow grease and get them together. So sometimes when you use small sticks, it doesn't really do as well, but I like to have people collect the big stir sticks for me, the wooden sticks, and also go ahead and get yourself a whisk over, you know, at the Dollar Tree if you wanna get a bigger one for the, the thicker, chunky, you know, uh, chalky style paint. But this is just a $2 mini one that I have added to our website. It's the perfect size, especially for the milk paint, right? But you might even wanna get something that's a little bit more um, hardy for the chalky style paint or make use of this one. But just whisk it up, my friends, whisk it up. Okay. Elena Thomas says, hi, Sonia Matt, newbie from New York. Hey, welcome, welcome. yeah, absolutely. And make sure you take a before picture, everybody's saying. <laughs> I did yeah. do that tonight. I was yeah. so good. I'm going to yeah. grab my wet brush here. It's been sitting in water, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let's move over, shall we? Yes, we shall. Oh, sorry. Oh, I think I just knocked totally knocked you over. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. I've got a plan for this guy tonight, all right? So this is like what goes behind your, probably behind, would you call it like maybe your toilet over your... Uh, it's like um, a medicine cabinet. Yeah, yeah, go over your sink, that sort of thing, yeah. wherever you plan to put it, right? Um, typically, when I do cabinets, of course, kitchen cabinets, I have a whole other process that I do. So I just want to tell you that if you want to know how to paint kitchen cabinets, make sure you get my video. Go over to junkmonkeypaint.com. And under DIY videos, you'll see it, okay? This is a bathroom cabinet, and I'm just going to, you know, this is more of like a decorative bathroom cabinet, right? Mm -hmm. So in my mind, it's it's not even as intensive a use that a kitchen cabinet set gets, right? Because there's so much moisture and um, just, you know, grease, and the doors are constantly opening and closing, and people are touching them every single day to be able to get things out of them. So in my mind right now, I'm just going to slap some good old paint on it, okay? It's called an overjohn. I am going to keep, is that what it's called? Because it's over the john. That makes sense to me. I'm gonna keep the hinges on. Typically when I do cabinets, not typically all the time when I do cabinets, I take the doors off. But for tonight, we're gonna to turn this piece into a decorative piece, right? Yeah. Now you'll see that when I put this on, maybe I'll do the frame first and leave the doors open because I wanna be able to get this brown in the back, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on all over the frame first. I'll dry that, then I can close the doors and kind of go from there. Make sense? Yeah. So what's everybody up to? What's everybody I got, saying? I got to address a couple things first. Sure. Before we get there. Sure. Uh, one question, uh, would you use your Klingon brush with chalk paint? Absolutely. Okay. Just remember, we are in a 20-day paint a piece of furniture a day challenge using milk paint right now. So this is why you're seeing me use the milk paint, right? Because we're really showing you the difference. People will come on here, and I guarantee it will happen right now as we're painting tonight. Somebody will come on and go, what's the difference between milk paint and chalk paint? So you have 20 days of video seen it live in action on 20 different surfaces to know what it does, right? And how it's different and how, like, at the very beginning, for one thing, um, you saw us go ahead and mix it up in a powder form, right? So... Um, that's one big difference there. All right. The other thing I got to cover is mystery boxes. To be eligible for the mystery box, and I, I did this in the beginning, and this is kind of what we did on the previous 30-day challenge. And just to be fair, and also we're dealing with a certain finite amount of times, the, uh, if you get chosen for a mystery box, you have to be present and answer up within the time that I give you to answer me back. So the other night uh, when I pulled four names and uh, somebody answered just as uh, we were uh, naming another one, that's fine. That's my mistake. 
But if you are coming, if I call your name and I give you a good two or three minutes and uh, you're non-responsive, then... And nobody said they've seen you. And nobody said they've it, seen so. you, so you're out of luck. So anyways, and that just keeps the video moving along. Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, unfortunately, uh, you know, we had uh, we had a couple other this time where people were late and uh, for the thing. So... I got to pull the Sergeant Miller. So messaging a day or two later. Yeah. You ain't going to fly. Yeah, I'm bringing you the Sergeant Miller on this one. Is You have to be present and you have to answer up while I'm looking for you. Yep. Because if not, you're SOL. And Sorry. then message us immediately following, right? Yep. So we have your address. Yep. Absolutely. I'm not chasing people. Yep. <laughs> so, anyway, and I got enough, so I got enough stuff to do. Yes. Um, you, can pull the, uh, you can pull the doors off if you want. Yep. Uh, we're just trying to be quick and show you how quick we can do yeah, this. Yeah, because I'm going to shabbify yeah. this. Oops. I'm going to shabbify this piece, and I just did what I did want to do, which was close the doors. The reason why I'm painting, let's do this again. The reason why, why I'm painting oh. the uh, frame is so I can close the doors and move on, right? Okay. Go ahead. Why is the milk paint more expensive than chalk paint? It's simple. It's organic. It's all natural. There is nothing in it. So it costs a lot more. The ingredients that go in it cost a lot more, so therefore it's more expensive. Yep. So right. that's just, uh, that's why it's... That's why uh, there is a all-natural organic section at your grocery store as yep. well. Absolutely. So. And to be quite honest with you, we have always, I've, I've been quite forward in telling you guys that when we started our paint line, we didn't start it to sell it, right? We just started it because this was the paint that I love to paint with, and I did not want to pay a ton of money for the big brand names. And then people would say, what do you paint with? And I'd share it with them in mason jars. And literally in the back corner of my store, I said, sure, you can have a mason jar full for maybe $10.75. It'll cover our costs, right? We've never, ever raised the prices of that. It's always yeah, stayed at $10.75. Yeah. yeah, since 2015. So that price has been in place for a very, very long time, right? It's like our, it's our original recipe uh, from back in the day. So that's how we kind of came up with that price. We've never changed it, right? Right. What's that? The Klingon brushes. The Klingon brushes what? Are sold out. Yep. They yeah. are currently sold out, but we have a second batch now that are on their way, which I need to put up a link for anybody else who wants to get on the second train to the specialty brushes that I'm using. There's some really beautiful high-end furniture. Uh, brushes. They really hold the paint nicely. They put on the paint so smoothly. And so uh, I am going to watch for that tonight. Okay, I'll put up a second link. And that way, if you guys want to get on the second train to pre ordering them, you can. But they'll just be in and probably like the first batch is already on their way. So I'm hoping I'll have them even as soon as a couple days. But the next batch, just know when you pre order, give it two to three weeks. But that's kind of like a um, what would you say? That's kind of like the longest time you should have to wait because typically they get here, um, they'll get here sooner than that. But I'm just saying that just to be safe. Okay, this piece, um, you can use it behind the toilet if you want. You can use it as like a tool thing in the, in the get garage. I don't know because we're not going to use it. It's whoever comes and gets yeah. it. You know, I was thinking what I could do with this. I'm not finished with it, obviously. We're just yeah. getting started. I could sit this on top of one of my tables and put my supplies that I sell in my store inside of there, right? right. And I'm going to make it all pretty here before we leave. Oh, but I want to get started. I am. I got plans, man. I got hopes and dreams. All right. Uh, all right. Are the doors solid wood and the shelf laminate? It's all laminate. The doors are That's laminate. laminate. It's yeah, all can laminate. Hear. Can you yeah. hear that? Yeah. It's um, thinner, are right? the Klingon brushes going to be available to Canada once they're back in stock? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, they will. They're yeah, just there's sold no out There's no reason right why now. they cannot go. Hey, Florida, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, well, we'll be looking forward to see you, Mary Dawn, in June if you make it out Ooh, this way. Oh, this is cool. Where's she so, coming in from? Um, I don't know. She just said she's looking forward to coming to visit us nice. in June. Nice. Where are you from, girl? Uh, what's the main difference between milk paint see? and chalk paint? <laughs> I told you, is. right? Let's see who can answer. Based on what you've learned, this is day 13 of the Paint a Piece of Furniture Day Challenge. Yep. And this is where the magic happens right before your eyes. You guys get inspired. You see what it does. And I would love to hear what you guys have learned so far. And how would you describe the difference between... Oh, they're already getting it. They're already on it. Because you know what? They're the banana bunch. They're yeah. awesome. Yeah, they're they're awesome. On it. Yep. They show up religiously night after night. They're so loyal. Um, we Good place students. We place right on our front page of the website 
that uh, please allow some to 10 business days because we do hand make and hand pour everything. And hand ship, hand and package, hand, ship, hand yes. deliver. You got it. Yes. We are not your ordinary paint shop. That's yes. for sure. Yeah, we. Um, I'm actually tired and grumpy tonight. Uh-oh, it's grumpy <laughs> hands, right? Well, I got a bum shoulder, so I'm, I've been in. And I can't take any more leave because I reached my limit. Uh-oh. So, anyways. Matt's been churning out the butter. I'm going to put a second uh, coat down here, and I can't wait because I've got plans for these doors. I will tell you, though, using this color, so remember, this is just a basically part of the Irish Eyes Green milk paint and part of the um, white, the iceberg white put in with it, and it just gives me this really pretty vintage green, right? Like almost like a spearmint kind of color, would you call it, right? Yeah, so, it looks like you look like you got mint and brown going on. It's pretty. When was that? Well, when I was, was going to say wait, mint wait, wait, and brown wait. goes good together. When was that big? Was that like 2005, um, 2006? I feel like it was even earlier than that. Yeah. Everybody yeah. had it in their wedding, right? Yeah. Mint and uh, chocolate. Mint and chocolate. Yeah, didn't yeah. you? Didn't, uh, no, it wasn't. Did, you, did Jolene have that? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Oh, I just got to bless your heart. I know that could be a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> bless his heart. Yeah. I, gave so up, I gave up hand milking cows about when I was 17. That's when I left the farm. <laughs> All right, let's yeah. go ahead and do the other side just to put on a second layer. I'm going to Chevyfy, like I say, this one as well. So... I, I didn't see what Linda, Linda, oh, I, I see it, milking too many cows. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, right. Ha. Funny. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and put a little bit on the front. Now, I've got plans for the front, so because of that, I'm just going to splash a little bit in the seams right here if, and around town, just if, right here. If I come up to the shop, will you be there? It depends on when and when and where. Yep, absolutely. So, our, yes. our actual studio is open to the public. Um, Wednesday, sorry, not Wednesday, um, we made switches with our hours. It's now Friday through Sunday. It's so funny, like, that rolls off your tongue. You know, you're a creature of habit, you know what I mean? How many times have I said that? Wednesday through Sunday, 11 to 4. But as we get so busy that, um, our doors open to the public now will be on Friday through Sunday, 11 to 4. Because, honestly, that's when I see the most of you DIYers anyhow, right? It's the weekend folk that get out here. But if you need a weekday, come on a Friday. We'll be here too. Um, and then, of course, online, our store is always open. So I know you guys are always having fun in there. Hey, Gaylene, uh, buff your piece with a little sand. Sand it a little bit if you don't have the extra bond. If you have that, uh, just just sand it a bit. You'll have a better better Fusion. bond. Yeah, I yeah, wouldn't. I wouldn't add healer. too many. I wouldn't add too many outside chemicals to it because then you could be getting into a science experiment that you might not want to. <laughs> because if you start adding things like that, that could produce heat, and then you could open yourself up to... Uh, See, this is why I say lines. Matt is the paint maker and the creator, because as a chef, he's just very good at, like, you know... We got yeah. great chemistry, but he's also very good at chemistry, so... It looks like Andy's candy. There you go. <laughs> Oh, I love those. Anything called, like, well, let's just be honest here. I was going to say the grasshopper candy. Yeah. One of my favorite drinks to have, like, as in adult beverages, is one called the grasshopper. Has anybody ever had it? It's, like, ice cream and what tastes like mint chocolate. Yeah. It is so good. You don't have to paint the hinges if you don't want. We nope. just we just go. I'm gonna make them go with it. Okay, when yeah. you see that what I've got going on, you'll see why I decided to do that. But honestly, when I do cabinets professionally, and by the way, I've been doing them for the last two years, but at this stage of the game, I just don't have the time anymore to do them. So now I give inspiration, make the products available, and tell you guys how to do it. Right, so you guys can be successful at it. Um, but typically I take the doors off, all right? Mm -hmm. And then hinges come off as well. They get cleaned. You know, what's really great for cleaning the hinges is like vinegar and a little right. bit of a scrubby brush. That's always good. Right. Never use anything soapy when you're, uh, you know, painting cabinets and things like that because soap repels. And you never, ever want to have a base that's repelling everything that you're trying to build on top of it, right? So even right. when it comes to your hinges, just kind of scratch them up with like an old wire brush or something like that. Mm -hmm. Clean them up. Even though, you know those cans of air that you can get that kind of just like psh, gives a sheet of air and cleans out your keyboard. Those are perfect as well for getting any sort of like dirt and dust and grease that collects. Mm. All right, come over here. We're gonna do this side. Uh, uh, your your antlerita is watching. So. Antlerita. 
So, yeah. Everybody say hello to Aunt Loretta. Yep. It's Aunt Loretta from back home, Newfoundland. Well, hello, Linda Webb Jenkins. Hello. Yeah, it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah, remember the chemistry sets in the, in the 70s and early 80s where they just gave you a bunch of different uh, base chemicals and you could make like mustard gas by accident. Oh, and man. Stuff. <laughs> Funny stuff. Uh, All right, we're going to go ahead and just give that some nice oh, yeah. swipes. Love that. Now, remember Jeez, the I'm sick with the food. back goes on the wall, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's do the other side and let that dry over here. So now I'm going to go over here. Uh, Christina, how long to get an email? I asked a couple of, a few days ago on your site. What you looking for? Um, what's the question I might yeah, be able to answer ask here? Us now. Because sometimes, you know, we get blown up, we get blown up and you get four yeah. or 500 emails in one day and they keep coming. Yes. Sometimes you don't get But yeah, if you ever have a question that's just, you know, post it on here. I will tell you, I get a lot of questions that says, my walls are this color, my furniture is this color, what color would you do this? And so those are big, big questions. Sometimes I get big old paragraphs with like 20 questions in them. So that can be overwhelming. So if you ever have to send a question, just kind of like, you know, get it in order and say, Sonia. Out of these three colors, what would you go with? Because that's going to allow me to give you a faster response because sometimes a lot of the questions are very, very long. So, girl, make it quick, but post it here tonight. Yeah. We'd be happy to help you. Your buddy Sam Cannon's on here. She said Sam you're pretty Cannon. purely spring with these uh, colors. Yeah, because Heck it's yeah, been like 70-some it. degrees the last two days. Listen, we I was talking to... Um, a guy at the store locally, and he told me, now he lives in a different area than we do live, lo live locally, because we're kind of up in the mountain area, but um, he lives in town, and he was saying he's seen like crocuses and stuff already. Yeah, well, yeah, you're going to. I mean, this is traditionally the warm weeks of February anyways. This is when you start gathering your sugar water for sugar maple, oh, for, to yeah. make maple syrup. So this is traditionally a warm week. I mean... Warm traditionally in February is like 40, 50 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> so I think uh, we beat the record set okay. back in the 1890s for warm, right? I'm just going to hit the top So as well. Tony, yeah, if you want to do that to, to do a preventative, uh, preemptive strike against bleed through, you absolutely can do seal first and then... That's a great idea. Yeah. Um, that. What's it called? Zinzer Bullseye. They make a great shellac. It's just a clear shellac, right? Mm -hmm. So bleed through happens. Honestly, guys, when you guys get bleed through and you message me about it and stuff like that, and you're like, what the heck happened? It's some of those surprises that happen when you're a furniture painter, to be honest so. with it. You never know because remember, wood is porous and sometimes you never know until you paint it what that piece has been exposed to, whether it's oils or mm. perfumes that has been spilled on it or cigarette smoke or nic nicotine, things that can be absorbed into, into yeah. the actual wood, right? So if you ever have a piece, and I will tell you that antiques are very susceptible to bleed through because they're old, right? So old. They're old. So if you ever are going with a light color, especially over an antique, and you're worried about that, you may want, and you can kind of tell by the, by the piece after a while, right? Like a lot of times, and again, this is no fault of your own, but this is just the way wood is, that if you paint an old antique that is made with a red wood, as an example, all right? And on antiques, the veneer is broken, right? That means when you put something on it, it's going to be able to go through that veneer because it's so old and it's just literally crumbling in your fingers. And it's going to be able to get into the wood and then the wood can bring like a, the wood tannins out. Okay. And so it's, sometimes you'll see like a pink bleed through spot. So if you feel like you have one of those pieces on your hands, use a shellac, like, um, like I say, bullseye made by Zinzer and it's called clear shellac. Put it on really easy to do it. It's just like a band aid, And then you go ahead and you paint over the top of it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that brush is a two inch, right? This brush, I feel That's like it's either one and a half or two inch. I'd have That's to double check. Inch. Okay. That's bigger than one and a half. Then what did you ask me? Well, I'm just double checking. All right. But I know it's not a one and a half. I maybe. feel like it might be one and a half, to be yeah. honest with you. But, but it does. All right, it's, all right. You know, it's a nice... Yeah, here's the thing. I'm going to make one of these brushes available because if you want the same brush that I have, you don't want anything that's too big and heavy and flimsy, okay? So the wider you go right here, the bigger it is, the paint, your wrist starts to hurt. So you want to go with something that's a little bit more, you know, to be able to just kind of fly with your hand. 
What's wrong? Mm -hmm. You're looking at me. You're giving me these looks like, what the heck are you talking about? No, she's doing stuff about, oh, I'm making sure, you know, I'm using equipment. My wrists don't hurt, you know. The professional stuff. I'm back there drilling Listen, on Listen, would you like to speak with stuff. HR? My shoulder's about to fall off. Do you need to speak with off. HR? Yes, okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> uh, what, part of camp, what part of Camp Lejeune are you living in? So, um, that brush is a Klingon. Uh, we get them imported from yep. Holland. Go on our website as soon as I'm done, I and I'll go no ahead paint. and... Uh, I don't understand what them. it is. It's an all-natural paint. It's the same paint that's been used since caveman days to do on the walls. It's all natural in case you're sensitive, or you have pets, or you have babies, or you know you want to go with the all-natural route, or you want to have it that very, very old, turn-of-the-century, chippy look without lead paint. So, yep, yeah. absolutely. Comes in a powder form. It's you can. Um, it basically is usable indefinitely, as long as it doesn't get wet or doesn't get activated. So make sure you seal your package. You just make up um, as you need as you go, and then seal your package. Like I say, make sure when you get one of our packages that you reseal it. There's a little spot to press it to, and then you could even do the fold on top of it as well. Can you guide me on what to buy of your products to paint a rust? Uh, rusted antique bed, first time order, and first time painter of anything. You're gonna get one to go with the Junk Monkey Classic yep. on that one. Have the you ever painted paint. a rock fireplace? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've done a rock yeah. fireplace. Bricks and uh, how, I said I said bricks. How many bricks cans uh, Bahama Jade box. chalk paint for a standard size uh, dining table and four to six chairs? I bet you there's somebody on here who's already used it. So let's see, we always say, so for your table set, you want to go with something a little bit more hearty. I would definitely stick with, like Matt said, our chalky style recipe, well, the pre-mixed one pint. Yeah. Um, yeah, just so anybody out there can know and, and hear me talk through this. And then we always say that one of those pints will work on, like rule of thumb is one big piece of furniture, right? You can get a couple smaller pieces out of a can or one big piece. So in my mind, this is how I think about it. Again, rule of thumb. Because uh, I haven't even seen your table set, right? So I would say one can for your table, and then just because you've never painted with it before, you kind of don't really know how far it will go. I would say just so you're safe with not knowing how much coverage you're going to put on it, say two chairs out of a can, okay? So how many chairs did she have? Six. Six. So, so like maybe get four. four yeah, I would get maybe three to four cans for yeah. you, okay? Well, because what happens is it depends also on the style you want. Do you want? Are you just brushing it on? Do you want more of that dry brush, shabby style, distressed look, or if you want an all-over coverage, and you probably are going with two coats, right? Mm -hmm. So that, in my mind, would factor kind of like if I need the three or the four. Um, I'm glad you made it, Lisa. What's the difference between Junk Monkey paint and chalk paint? Chalk paint. <laughs> Chalk paint's a brand name. It's actually a copywritten brand name, so you actually can't use the term chalk paint. Yep. Um, mineral paints. Clay um, paints. Clay paints. Chalk type paints. Chalk, chalk type paints, paints. Chalk type paints. Style chalk style paints. You know. So everybody under the sun has come up with their own terminology for them. The difference between our paint and other people's chalky style paint would be that, you know what, we don't know what they put in theirs, they don't know what we put in ours, because we make our own, our own version to our own consistency. So I always say that, you know, chocolate chip cookies might be called chocolate chip cookies in many different countries and states, but we know they're all not the same, right? So you just kind of got to do it, try it, and see if you like painting that style. But for me, um, the, how I make my paint with my husband Matt is so that it gives me that really nice old-timey look, it dries quickly, and it's it's more like of a chunkier kind of paint, right? So, um, for those of you who have painted it, maybe tried different versions out there, I mean, let's hear from you guys. How would you compare it uh, for you junk monkeys out there to kind of describe it to somebody else? It's always nice to hear from you guys. Yeah, we're in Lincoln Air, Pennsylvania, about 35 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. Actually, I have family in York County. We just go down there every August for our big... Uh, we have a big family reunion and we'd make giant 100 gallon pots of chicken corn chowder and turtle soup. Uh, are we talking about turtles again in soup tonight? Yeah, well, I'm just saying. I just can't tonight. take the turtle soup. And I'm hungry, but that's still not uh, good. The work. paint Damon uses is Junk Monkey Original. Yep. It so comes Laura the just pint. got her first heat gun. Look out oh, now. Oh, yay! She's going to be. I'm going I'm, I'm to look for you on the news because. You know, <laughs> Don't take it to anybody, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I'm drying this pretty oh. quick, right? We're good, Mary. Um, love the chair today. I'm glad you saw it. Yay! 
Okay. Yes, that was a fun color. You know, I love a rusty orange color. All right, let's go ahead now, and I'm gonna get ready to jazz up these pieces here in here a second, but I'm gonna do some distressing on the doors as I start, okay? So remember, if you distress pretty close to the point that your paint has pretty much dried, I can still see there are some tacky parts, but I'm not gonna touch that part just yet. But I can go ahead now with my coarse grit sand pad. These are also on our website. And just knock off some of the edging, right? So like I say, if you do this closer to the time you painted it, See, it's your parent, be a whole lot easier. Your parents said take it easy on your wrist. Nobody cares about my shoulder. Nobody cares about my shoulder. <laughs> Sally saw his wrist. Yeah, just sign his wrist. Oh, um, Riley, our teenager, he's 17. Seemed to be 18. He's a man's man. He's all my man. All right, uh, we you invited in August. My best friends live in New York. Oh, uh, we haven't had it since... Uh, my great great uncle passed away in uh, the 90s. What do you guys think? So. <laughs> what do you guys think? When are we coming to Angels Oaks, California? I don't know. I want to I want to head Ooh, up to the that's high desert. Cool, right? so. I got to do the rest of the round, but I just kind of yeah. want to get started on here first, all right? What does that look like? You guys seen it all? Did you come on up that close and show good. them? Show them the goodness, the yumminess. Mm. Somebody's going to walk on and go like, "You missed the spot, lady." You missed a spot. I'm just waiting for it. Just waiting I don't, for it. The happen. problem is, Dana, I don't need any exercises. I just need to <laughs> I need to give it a rest. All right, so here's what we're going to oh, do next. Look at this. Look at this. this. You're picking. Who's next picking? time I see you, Anna, you can get it. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and use a Mod Podge, okay? Mm. So do you guys remember? Okay, do you remember when we did the trunk. Do you remember we did the trunk, we put some Mod Podge on it, we, we like really tried to pick because we had all these pretty posies. And do you remember, there was those shabby flowers and I'm like, I really like the shabby flowers. Oh. So I found a place that we can make use of them, okay? It's got this gold foiled background, they got uh, those beautiful it, spearmint you? colors like vintage flair, chocolate does go good with mint, right? We got a little bit of gold going on. So aha, uh -huh. remember I said those hinges look kind of brassy, okay. right? We're gonna bring a little bit of that through. But what do you think? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make these inserts, take them from brownie frowny, put a little bit of color onto them. Remember, when you do this for yourself, you can pick whatever color paper you want because your options are completely endless, okay? Nancy but Ellen, I'm no, use some Mod Podge. no, you are not uh, limited to six cans anymore. No, you can get whatever you want. You can get whatever you want. All right, so, so do you want to come on this side of me over oh, here? They want to know everything. We, we've been married almost 20 years. <laughs> yeah, this year we've been married 20 years. Yeah. Feels like long, what? It seems like an, it feels a like an eternity. <laughs> <laughs> As we both laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Perhaps so if somebody puts a forceful stenciling on you, it will help your shoulder. There you go, right? No, it's uh, he needs a forced alignment or it's something. It's like Indiana Jones said, it's it's not the years, it's the mileage, and the mileage is yes. racking up. I gotcha. So. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put that down, and then we're going to go ahead and pick some of this pretty gorgeousness right here. So all I did was cut some of my scrap paper to be able to fit in here. Now, remember, Mod Podge dries clear, so I don't worry if it comes out over the edges. And, but I do want to make sure that I get it on before Where can you find dries, those flowers? Right? Explain. Um, yeah, I can show you. They come in books. Actually, Kate, do you want to pass yeah. over the book to me real yeah. fast? Yeah, they actually, oh, we just disconnected or reconnected? We did. Yeah. It's, uh, it's okay. Thank you, girl. Oh, these things. Are we good? Yes. Can we oh, back yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Sometimes good. Facebook can be weird. Oh, well, thank you, Angel. All right. So... Here's what they come like, right? Like this, okay? Yeah. So I get one of these books. You can see Sonia's the clearance shopper was 20 bucks, now on for 7.99 for eight bucks, right? Yeah. So that's awesome. And then inside, like this was, I look at the cover and they kind of show you, like I love the posies here. I love the gold, the gold foil. And then it, there's all kinds of colors. So if you can imagine, that's kind of pretty, right? You guys see that? Mm. A little bit of gold right yes, there. Oh, there you go. You like country. There's a little bit of plaid in here. That's pretty right there. Yeah. Very, very nice. So all kinds of colors in here. So <laughs> those are pretty roses, right? I like that. Polka dots. These are cool. I'm going to find something to put these on because I'm absolutely in love with these gold foiled polka dots right there. But yeah, so just like this here, you have a whole book to be able to use. And if you go to like a place like Michael's or um, Joanne Fabrics Hobby or Hobby Lobby. Lobby, yep, you go to any Clarence of those places. She just found a bunch of them on Clarence at Myers. Yes. 
That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's just make sure this sits down really nice. So you never, don't worry about getting any of the Mod Podge out over the edge because here's the deal. It all dries clear, right? So it's no big deal. So Mod Podge is actually something that works as a glue, but it oh, also wait, works as a sealer. <laughs> She messing with you. She's messing with me. Not no, I didn't, wa I didn't watch Daytona. I um, um, I I'm not much into racing anymore. Right. Kind of because I got drugged to the track. I was a little track rat for years. All right. So, so that's kind of cool, right? We're gonna let that set up. You know, if you grow up in it, and your dad, you know, your dad's working in IndyCar and Kart Series and Formula One. And you get drugged to the track, it's kind of like going to work with your dad. And it's not that cool. Okay, you know? let me step over here. <laughs> so. All right, let's go ahead and put them on the other side now. So the cool thing yes, is you napkins. can use Git wrap. You can use, yeah, you can use napkins. Is yeah. that what that was about? Yeah, somebody yes. just said that. Uh, Absolutely. What exactly are those books called? They are called scrap paper books. Scrap paper books. Yep. Yes. Some people call them designer paper, you know, but it's it's much more heavier than Visit the, the other with the stuff. Old wallpaper oh yes, yeah. right? Oh yeah, and I can remember back in like I don't know, it must have been like the eighties. I don't even know, just like forever nineties, and um, you'd use the wallpaper to be able to make fans for your back home. There was a whole rage where you'd use the wallpaper remnants to be able to make these fans that would go onto your walls and stuff like that. Literally, like handmade stuff. Nowadays, we'd be like, that's tacky. Well, thank but you hey, for your patronage there, Mary. It we worked appreciate at the time. All of our customers, and we appreciate all of our community. Yeah. You know, who contribute and uh, who gives us, you know, a sense of uh, community here. So thank you guys. We appreciate we have, it. We have the Old map centers, music sheets. Maps, yeah. yes, yeah. music sheets. Yeah, right. So if you have something that you're keeping, like a. You know, if you have a music book from a loved one, right? And you're like, what the heck do I do with this? Or you have a lot of something, you know? Yeah. Frame some sheets, but also go ahead and put them on stuff like this on some projects. Hey, and, Deborah. Uh, do them that way. So, anyways. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, we Time say, to go shopping. Yeah, I, already, I already covered that. So I'm my, br need to get some my brain's starting to slip now. What's up? <laughs> I was going to say, yes, give us some of the 10 lead days to uh, what? business days for... Get your stuff made and sent to you. Oh, I'm talking about I'm out of Mod Podge. Yeah, up. Oh, Everybody's using the term amaze balls. I amaze balls. I hate that term. Oh come on, just accept it. Clara is the one that started using it. Was the I first one I heard used saying. It. Well, Clara is the first one I heard saying. Oh really? Yeah. I've heard it for a while. It's yeah. like I don't know where it came from though. Uh. Uh, let's see here. Kate might know where it came from. Because Kate's trending and she's young and hip and trendy. Yeah. Kate, where does the term amaze balls come from? She's with the in crowd. Yes. I don't know. I've been hearing that since I was in like third grade. Oh, okay. Kate's been hearing it since she was in third grade. So at this point, so I'm it's obviously it. not. That, that cool beans. Oh, oh, I love oh, the word cool beans. Cool beans is when Dang I remember yeah. that in 1989. Yeah. I, I still say it. I still say it. I can't help it. You know, old Start habits that hard. Song. Say what? XD. Uh, Molly, no, you don't have to prime. Good uh, God. Kate's teaching me things. You just use the extra bond <laughs> with the milk paint. If you use Jump Monkey Classic, funny, there is no funny. priming or sanding. You don't even have to clean if you don't want to. <laughs> so what I like to do is put the Mod Podge on the back because it pulls it mm -hmm. back. Now remember what I told you. Paint pulls things into it, and while you're sleeping, it's still working, right? So mm -hmm. when you put this on, just know it's going to continue to pull into the wood and suck it in even tighter to the wood while you sleep. But what you do is you put the paint on the back, not the paint, you put the Mod Podge on the back, you put your scrap paper on top of it, so it's gonna pull it back into the piece, and then you go ahead and you get yourself some, a little bit of the same sealer. If you look on the front, it says it's water-based sealer, glue, and finish, okay? So now I'm actually using it like a finish, okay? And so it's gonna dry clear, but it's a cool thing, right? So think about this, $4.99, you can put whatever style you want on it. And then if you have a little bathroom that you want to jazz up, you know, we all have these sorts of cabinets. Put some paper on the doors. Keep what you got. You don't even have to take it off the wall. And, uh, yeah. Remember Thank you, Teresa. So, uh, Tony said, did you ever see the Mud Pudge video? That must be like a satire. The Mud Pudge? Yeah. <laughs> no, she said it's awesome. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to look that up. Linda Olson says, my OCD is driving me nuts. The top piece needs to be rotated to match the direction of the bottom pieces. What's she talking about? I, I Girl, see. you don't have to I get see. OCD. This is just like, you know, this I, is supposed to be creative therapy. 
I think that looks beautiful. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm now seeing it. <laughs> don't what, tell me. And once you see it, it can't be unseen. Well, don't tell me because I love it. All right. So I'm very, very happy with that. What do you guys think? Give me hearts. Is it nice? Do you love it? And we're not even done yet. So. There we go. Now we've got to do some drying onto Can it, right? Can you use Mod Podge to seal raw wood before painting? Sure. If you really wanted to, if you, you could. If you wanted to, yeah. Yep. Oh, Amazeballs is attributed to Paris Hilton's blog in 2009. Natalie Gallo on the job. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. You can Google anything, man. I'll tell you what they can do before the days of Google, right? Yeah. Or Wikipedia. I don't even know. All right, now I'm going to dry this. How do you this? keep the seam from shining? Once it sucks in, it's going to be less noticeable. Yep. But you can you can distress it too. Yeah, heck just yeah. like the rest of it. I think I'm going to do some glazing over the top of it just to kind of darken it up a little bit. So yeah. I'll show you how I do that in just a second. But remember, if you want an all-over bigger piece, just go find a bigger piece of cons like a piece of continuous paper, right? If that really really bugs you. But remember, you're staring at it right now as I'm putting it together. But if this is on your bathroom wall and somebody's coming in. This is not the only focus that they're going to see, right? This is going to be part of your bathroom. So don't don't obsess over the little details, right? Just go. Do you ship to Hawaii? Yes, we do. We ship to Hawaii, Alaska, all 50 states. And to Canada now. That would make such a cute and such a rush. Well, Linda, come down here and buy it. Everything you see, we're going to sell at yes. super mega happy ultra discount prices this Saturday. Yep, come see us. Come see us. Here it says, all New cool. Zealand Slime says, looks sure, bro. Actually, I saw <laughs> that. No, we heard that on that show we were watching. What? Go on with the um, glitch. Okay. Remember the people come back from the dead? Right. From Australia, the glitch, yeah. or the New Zealand show? I love that show. Yeah, it's called Glitch. Yes. Yeah, I heard that saying in there. Is the iceberg white best to lighten all the colors? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I would use white. White's going to be your, um, I'm going to get some of this Mod Podge off. White is going to be your lightener, right? Definitely. Yeah. Or even a thick cream if you have it, but white's going to be the ultimate color to be able to bring it shades lighter. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can use a chip brush with milk paint. Also, you can get this particular heat gun. In your local Wally World as well, too. All right. Well, Susan, just go back and watch it again. Right. She just got here late. Susan, well, we're glad you're here. All right, so let's see here. So this is where we're at right now. I'm going to do a little bit more distressing, and then I think I'm going to add some darkening glaze to it. What do you guys think? Let me see what you're seeing. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. I love it. Oh, that's sticking on. All right. It's a little bit top heavy. It needs to be on a wall, right? But like I say, this would be really, really cool for like supplies to be put into. I mean, mm -hmm. I could use it for a giant spice rack if you really wanted to, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever you want. All right, let me find my sand pad because Dawn's while that's coming shopping, we'll bring something big. Actually, we'll sell you everything that we've done here for like super mega cheap. There you go. <laughs> Buy all my furniture. You can open because up your we own need. Store. Yeah, we need the space. <laughs> I feel like I'm being between shipping boxes and I'm being swallowed here. Yeah, the furniture is, let's just say the furniture is definitely attacking Matt a little bit more than usual. Space, right? What was that? That was a yawn in the middle oh of the sentence. Oh my god. Dark glaze please. Everybody's, everybody's asking so the glaze. I think so too. I think that would be absolutely All right. All right it comes to it. glaze. By the way, one thing Are you going happens... to iron the bubbles out? They're, they're actually right, going to... They're going to suck in after time. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to add some, a little bit of glazing, I think, around here especially. Mm -hmm. We'll see where that goes. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it looks. Yep. So you guys know that um, I'm going to seal this one with a poly, okay? I'm going to seal this one with a poly. I'm going to try to push, press some of these down. But, yeah, just kind of watch it. And honestly, when I've done this, I would even like put this on its back and put some books on it just to try to hold it down. Because remember, it starts to suck in, right? Mm. Um, but we do the uh, wax, of course, to seal a lot of decorative pieces. 
I'm probably going to put a poly on here. So instead of creating my own uh, different colored wax, like a black wax, I'm just going to go ahead and, and use our, you can see the label because it's my stash, it's completely missing. But I'm going to use our black glaze to go over this, which by the way, I don't know if LaDonna is on here, LaDonna Ward, but did you see what she did with this black glaze today? Anybody see what she did? I mean, it was, as we say, amaze balls. Like that was absolutely over the top. She went... She took raw wood, she put our black antiquing glaze on it, did this process just with her natural wood, and it came out so gorgeous. Who saw that? Who did that? I saw that. Saw it was that? awesome. Yeah. I love it. It was awesome. Yeah. Uh, the YouTube thing went over well with everybody that found us over there. Yeah. It was It was a good time. Um, not my favorite medium, but uh, we tried it. You don't have to try, try it, it, right? We yeah. had to try it, yeah. And we'll probably be doing some more over there, but we probably won't be doing any more of our challenge uh, yeah. videos over there. Yeah. But There's, anyway. Klaus saw it. All right, let's do it. So here's how you oh, work Oh, yeah, please. people have seen it. They love the bathroom. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, wasn't that nice? So. I love that, too. All right. all right, let's go ahead and put some glaze in here. So when I use glaze, I mean, you can go on, go all over a piece if you want, but I'm loving on these doors, maybe just adding a little bit in some areas to make it look a little bit, you know, like dirty and used and worn and just kind of tone down some of this... Um, Colors. What are you laughing at? I'm sorry, that just struck me. Funny. What did I say? It was funny. Uh, it was I don't even know what I said. Uh, Good golly. <laughs> Good golly. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna. You never had something just strike you funny? And, no, you know, you know. I didn't know what I said. So, well, you didn't really say anything. It was just the way it you were was just said. having some fun just, over there yourself. Yeah, huh? exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah like, I got you. Know, you. All right, okay. The the you know the evil little imp that lives inside you hears it. So bad. Goes, I don't even know what you're talking about, but. All right, so I'm going to use my spray bottle. It looks like a hybrid tonight because I use the top off of one and the, where's my spritz? There it is. All right, I'm Wait. using the same, remember how I talk about these towels, right? These are the ones that I have in my store for a buck 25 a piece. They're a trademark towel for furniture painters like us or anybody who wants to get into it. You have seen me use these for, to buff the wax, but they're called, they're trademark called Better Than Cheesecloth So. They're also awesome if you have yeah, them. Yeah, Lena said lazy. she found out the chat disappears once your, once your live YouTube is done. The chat disappears once you're live. Oh, yeah, really? It goes away, yeah. So <laughs> I guess it's like Snapchat. Your parents like it. Your parents like it. That's nice. The comments are there. Yeah. So. Oh, really? I, I still yeah, feel like... still there. You have like 500 comments on it. We can... Can they still comment on that now? Yeah. They can? Yeah. But the live chat closes. Yeah. Because gotcha. you're not live. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. See, we have the young Caitlin who is hip and um knows all these things right she is she knows with it. all the things that we need to know right so yeah she's with it that we sense. only wish to know <laughs> so here we go just we a painted the chair last it. night yep so, we yeah. sure did yeah actually it's right over there it's, if you want to show it it's hiding right here <laughs> there it is see you're just kind of peeking out there. Yep. That's what we painted last night. Yep. Just kind of. It's a chair yeah. that. Um, it's a chair with a pot in it. Yeah. For your flowers, not not a chamber pot. Don't get any idea. Seriously, I don't even know why you think about these things. Well, it's true. A I mean, what? A chamber thing. pot? A chamber pot. You know what a chamber pot is, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how well, they would use go. that. Well, look, me? that's like, you know. You well, think that's what it looks like? When I was in the military, man, that would be, that's what we'd call a Cadillac. Oh, my God. You know, when we were in the military, we were out in the middle of the desert or right. wherever we were at. Right. We used to have a milk milk crate, right? Oh, man. We used to keep in the uh, first sergeant's uh, Humvee. Yes. And we cut, a middle, cut the middle out of it. Yes. And we bolted a toilet seat to it. Oh, man. That was called the Cadillac. Trust Seriously. me. It's the little things you miss when you're out in the well, field. Well, yeah, right? Yeah. So, yes, I feel yeah. sad for you. Yeah. Is this uh, why you're always in the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you love the modern on. conveniences and you still yeah. want to leave? Yeah, exactly. I think it might be. Maybe that's why. <laughs> See, Angela gets it. She calls the evil imp inside her, her 12 year old boy. So, <laughs> yeah, as you know. Alter the, Eagle? Yeah, it's a little, you know, it's that little, you know, it's like a little homunculus, you know? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah. so I'm just adding a little bit of darkening to some spots. Too much information. Yeah, right. Uh, Terminal Lance is funny, Lisa. I used to read the, those comic strips used to come out in, like, the base papers and stuff like that. I actually know the guy who does the Terminal Lance uh, cartoons as well as the, uh, 
um, as well as the um, sketches world. So, yeah, the Terminal Lance um, Facebook. Do you guys like it, right? Pretty cool. Facebook Maybe I'll add some darkening in here, too. Just to kind of keep going with it. What is Terminal Lance? Terminal Lance Corporal. It's terminology in the Marine Corps that you'll never get promoted past Lance Corporal because you, you got that demon inside you. <laughs> Okay. But usually I always found that it, it, even though I had that, and you, know, you know my reputation, it, it actually helped me get promoted. Oh my. Alright, I kind of like a little bit in there. Uh, that's fine, maybe the bumper dumper. No, you want to be, when you're going out for that little walk, you're getting away from, from the military for your 10-15 minutes. So no, you don't want anything near, near, near civilization. So who's watching the Olympics out there? Oh, they're still on? Yeah. I, I could. <laughs> you know what? Kate was showing me today that um, the Canadian couple won. What did they win? The medal today? Yeah, they won. Well, the it was yeah, they were, days ago. Yeah, they were basically like. The free dance thing. Yeah. It was, it was pretty amazing. Well, they're making headlines because they're basically like, you know, they need to get a room on the ice. They got a perfect score. Really? Yeah. yeah For real? Yeah, they were like molesting each other. On the what? I, yeah. I, I you haven't seen any of the memes going bad. around Facebook? No. Uh, well, you didn't see the ones no. I did. Oh, they, so. they danced to, uh, well, I'm sure your feet and my feet on Facebook are probably two different kind of things, That's right? Gone, it's rainy. Where's your headband from? People keep asking. I told you, I get my headbands from all over. Well, that one in particular. That one in particular... Now you're asking me something. Where the heck did I get this one? <laughs> Guys, I have so many headbands. Like, if I'm at the mall, I'm going to go into all the little shops, like um, Old Navy, look oh my at the gosh. accessories. Amy, Cla Amy Clausen asked... Love me, Walmart, i got to tell you. Amy Clausen asked if I'm a secret meme lord. Amy Clausen, you have no idea, but... Let's put it this way. Without me, your life would be memingless. What? See, SMB. SMB. We don't even know what he's talking about. All right. Secret. It, it sounds Secret like it sounds like there's something yeah. that he knows about. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and put some sealer on here before Matt turns me into a meme. Tess and said the best thing that just happened. What? She opened the kitchen drawer and found a full-size Milky Way. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, um, Angela says... So, Sonya, uh, by the way, mom's on here, right? Yeah. Sonia said, you're so beyond. I am learning so much and can't wait to try. We take this sponsored break to show you what I've eaten since last night, okay? Mm -hmm. So, we have, what, five, cap five of the tea cakes left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know where the other seven went, but, uh, yeah, this I is my no indulgence. Idea. Stuff for packages from home, from back <laughs> yeah. home in Canada, right? Did I get in the catnip, catnip again? That's funny. When I was growing up, we used to grow catnip to keep the uh, cats around the garden. So they would take care of any of the uh, rabbits and stuff that came around. So, so I'm sealing this with a poly. Had this been for, I don't know how long. You can see it's falling apart. The label's still on to kind of show you. I love to seal with a mat, M-A-T-T-E, or a satin, but this is Minwax um, water-based polycrylic. When you seal with a poly on pieces that might get a little bit more use or exposed to moisture and things like that, um, go with a water-based versus an oil-based, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying that tea cake? This should be Olympic, an Olympic event. event. Try and open this up with one hand while you're holding the camera. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there's an award for that. Do you know how long I've been nibbling and watching TV for? Holding mm -hmm. a phone? Mm -hmm. Yes, the phone Olympics. Mm. I think we should go ahead to our last round of sharing as we wrap up here. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Can you even talk or do you have your mouth? No, I'm having a good time here. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. You, you just need to deal with it. Uh, All right. Lisa said she loves all mats and then has mat hyphen e hyphen s. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. That's awesome. 
All right, we're gonna let this sucker dry. Let him do his thing overnight. We're not gonna touch him and let him work the seal, right? Because remember, think seal or AKA cure over a 30 day period. So there we go, I'm pretty happy with that, right? So remember, this only cost me $4.99. I'm not gonna get caught up in all the, you know, I want it to be rugged. I didn't want it to be like total OCD about it, right? Yeah. But I had to make use of this awesome paper. So remember, I just came in this size and then I just kind of cut it. This is like a harder paper, but you can actually get the stuff that's thinner as well, right? But pretty darn cool. All right, you got a winner? So winner, this, winner, chicken oh, dinner. Well, I mean, you just, you just, well. Come on, keep up with me. Okay, well, all right. Keep up with me. Let me find the, uh, let me find the winner. Let's see here. So, I'm trying to think what I would put on that now. It's kind of staged. I'm really thinking that if this was in a bathroom, how pretty would it be if you had like little mason jars painted down here and you could put like your Q-tips and your cotton balls, you know, that sort of stuff. What do you guys think? What else would you put into it? Any okay. ideas? All right. I'm, I'm going to the front of the line tonight. Okay. So, um... Natasha Nance, you are the winner of the Maggie Happy Fun Time Ultra Boxo Mystery tonight. Natasha? Natasha Nance. Let's see if she's here. She should be here. That's why right. I went there. Natasha, I need you to answer me. Just right. say, I'm here. And then Mr. Come on, Natasha. After. Look how so, pretty would that be, right? We're going to count so it down. cute. I can see this coming to life so much. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So we could put that on a wall. We could even use that in here if we really wanted to. But I'm sure we'll sell it and have let somebody enjoy okay, it. Okay, Natasha, you got one minute. One minute. All right. Natasha Nance. See if she comes through. She had to come through. She was just here. <laughs> Natasha, we need a video of your home. No, you don't. Trust me. Let me get home and clean it first. How about yeah. that? Natasha Nance. Because I'm here spending time with you. Just say hello, Natasha. Come on, Maybe Natasha. Here. Uh, did she settle the part with the flowers? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Natasha, you have 30 colors. seconds. These colors look really pretty. Natasha. With it. Right there, right? Yes. All right. Does anybody see her? The bubbles in the paper will her? suck in uh, yes. once it dries. If I, well, I don't have my squeegee here with me, but I'll give you a heads up as well. This would be pretty good. Oh my gosh, Natasha, what are you doing to me? So, uh, just to kind of let you know as well. Now I'm doing this standing up right now showing you guys, but if you actually leaned it back Ten. on its flat when you're doing this, Nine. and then what you do is you kind of push from the middle to the outsides, Eight. right? That will help eliminate oh, any here. air bubbles she's as here. well, okay? I don't see her. Or you could use like a Anna squeegee she's here. or a plastic card if you have one. But if you could lay it down flat and then kind of do the push outs, that's gonna really, really help you. And uh, once it's dry, you can even put some books on it tonight, and then when you lift it off tomorrow, it's gonna to look really, really good, right? So I love it. I don't know if I'm not seeing it. her comment because people are saying it. She, Same what? She just responded. Well, I don't see it either. Like, yeah. Okay. A couple people see it. Yeah. She but is there. Be, we need her to respond. We need just, her. Just saw it. Uh, Anna said she saw it too. Anna Pricky said she saw it as well. So she's here. Yeah. See. She's that. here or yeah. she's commenting. She's here. Um, they said Jay just saw her respond. Uh, We'll go with that. We'll go with that. All right, so girl, right now, go ahead as soon as we're finished and email us your address over at jumpmonkeypaint at gmail.com to confirm, okay? Okay. okay? So that we got you. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Just so. send us your address. Yeah. Yeah, send Natasha. There but you But I go. will tell you, I've been, uh, for some of these mystery packages, some of you guys might get some of my really cool head wraps that you guys have been asking about. Okay, so I've got a stash that I'm just going to drop in random packages, all right? Yeah, done. So yeah, everybody's saying she answered. So yeah, just, just go over junkmonkeypaintgmail.com. Send us that. So oh, you saw Adam on for there. whatever reason, it's not popping Oh, around. hey, Adam. How are you? <laughs> Adam, Adam is, is Kate's uh, other half, right? She's, uh, yeah, that's... Um, yes. This is what Kate's going to be doing to your bathroom, Adam. I just want you to know, all right? She painted your piano. You saw the piano. Adam says, that please Kate... just give me a job, sir. <laughs> I, I don't think so, Adam. I don't like your attitude. Too funny. All right, guys. 
Thanks for hanging out. Play it along. Have some fun with us tonight, right? $4.99. Now it looks completely different. Use it for whatever you want to use it for. And just know that you can paint it. You can glaze it. If you wanted like that distressed, more antique look, add some really fun papers to it. Just another way to be able to jazz up furniture. Yeah. We got her for whatever reason. Her comments aren't coming through because everybody's going, she answered, she answered, she okay, answered. Okay, good. Yep. So we gave the instructions. Where now she just mess just literally as soon as you get off of here, right? Yeah, so make exactly. sure we got you. Yeah, okay, exactly. cool. So. All right, and we are good to go. We'll see you back here again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same Absolutely. Cave. See you All guys. Right, have fun. See Bye. ya. Bye.